Good day everyone. This is Jake Rodriguez Pumperada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. In this tutorial video, we will learn how to write a C++ program that will ask the user to give two numbers and then our program will compute for the product of two numbers. Before we start, if you like this video tutorial, please click the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials so let's get started right now we are already here in our dev c++ integrated development environment so i will write a comment let's say for example product.cpp this this will be the file name and then the file name of our C++ program next the author myself Jake Rodriguez Pomperada date today is October 8 2019 8 09 p.m. Tuesday and then website I have my, my personal website http jkrpomperada.com next sharp include IO stream now this library file we use this library file sharp include IO stream for input output commands in C++ what are the example of input output command in C++ we have the console out for display and console in for input next using name space steady for standard and main open and close parentheses begin curly braces and close curly braces so this is the function in every C++ program that our compiler execute every time that we run our program next we will declare a variable and a equal 0 b equal 0 and then we have the third variable that is product equal 0 that will act as assignment statement in our program next console out Max, new line backslash new line skip sequence characters to backslash new line after we are true console out oh, a single a double quotation backslash t product of two numbers in C++ double quotation okay next console out new line and then here we'll ask the user give two numbers colon semicolon console in right shift operator a right shift operator b after we are through with the input we will be using the assignment statement in this case we will using the variable product to hold the value of a and b product equals open parenthesis a times b close parenthesis semicolon we will copy this new line for formatting purposes and then we will have here the display left shift operator backslash t the product of a and 
B is next line uh, B is product double quotation period semicolon new line semicolon console out backslash t and of the program okay the next step that we'll do is to save our work in saving our work in deep c++ we simply press ctrl s and then we will go to our folder and then right click new select new folder let's say for example product double click that particular pro uh, folder and then we will write product dot cpp this is the file name and then the extension cpp for c++ click the save button after we have saved our program the next step that we will do is to check for syntax error so we will go to execute compile or press F9 from our keyboard okay. there is an error compile again Compile again. Where is it? Hmm. I'm gonna find the error. The Prada console out. Expected. Hmm. I just ah okay duplicate <laughs> save okay we have no syntax error so the next step is we run the program okay there is a problem on formatting file and run okay so 5 and 3 we are expecting 15 the product of 5 and 3 is 15 okay so we have already the right result we save again we will run again the program compile and run okay 7 and 6 we are expecting 42 Okay, so we have it now. The title of our program is product of two numbers in C++. Give two numbers. It will ask the user to give two numbers. In this example, we give 7 and 6. So the product of 7 and 6 is 42. End of the program. That tells the user that the program is already ended. So we have here the complete code. So this is for the input, a variable declaration input process and then output for the display so i hope that you have learned something new in our video tutorials how to create a program that will compute the product of two given numbers by our user before we end this video tutorial please if you like this video tutorial please click the like button Leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials. Thank you very much guys for watching. Until next time, bye bye for now.